Okay, so this is the Trader Joe's organic pesto pizza with tomatoes and broccoli. It says it is imported from Italy. This is a 15.2 ounce frozen pizza. And this is what the pizza looks like when you take it out of the box. I had to unwrap this. This was in a plastic wrap. And it says to put it directly on your oven rack. Uh, but I have this nice uh, pizza pan. See, it has holes in the bottom. So the bottom uh, gets air. And uh, I just think it's a neater way to cook it. That way, if anything bubbles over, uh, it's not going to bubble over all over your oven. Most of it will just stay uh, in this pan. So the instructions for this pizza say preheat oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove all packaging from pizza and place directly on oven rack for 12 to 15 minutes or until lightly browned and heated through. Um, so my oven has been preheated to 425 and I am now going to put this in the oven for 15 minutes. Okay, so while that's in the oven, let's look at some of the nutrition facts. A serving size is a third of a pizza, servings per container three, calories 320 calories per serving. That means if you eat this entire pizza, it's 960 calories. Uh, 360 of which are from fat. Uh, so per serving, there's 13 grams of fat, 4.5 grams of saturated fat. Uh, that's obviously from all the cheese that's in it. Cholesterol, 15 milligrams. Sodium, 690 milligrams. It's kind of high. Total carbohydrates, 38 grams. Dietary fiber, 4 grams. Sugars, 3 grams. Protein, 11 grams. Uh, vitamin A, 4%. Calcium, 15%. Vitamin C, 0%. Iron, 4%. So I bought this today as a treat for myself because I can't even tell you the last time that I've had pizza and the past two weeks have been extremely stressful um, with all kinds of family emergencies and family drama. So this is a little bit of comfort eating right now. It's also, uh, again, like a little treat um, because I'm working from home today and I just feel like I've done really well the past two weeks so might as well treat myself to something like a pizza to eat. So the ingredients are organic wheat flour, organic sliced tomatoes, organic pesto sauce, which is organic basil, organic sunflower oil, water, organic sugar, organic wheat starch, salt, organic lemon juice, organic garlic, organic mozzarella cheese, which is organic milk, salt, microbial, microbial rennet starter culture, water, organic broccoli florets, organic extra virgin olive oil, organic aged cheese, which is organic milk, microbial rennet, salt, starter culture, salt, organic dried sourdough powder, organic wheat flour, water, amylase dough conditioner, ascorbic acid, and yeast. And this is a product of Italy, sold and distributed exclusively by Trader Joe's. Um, now, I don't normally uh, consume cheese or dairy products, so that's why this is kind of a treat for me. So we'll see how this comes out. Okay, so this is what the pizza looks like after 15 minutes in the oven. You can see how the edges have gotten nice and brown. I am going to let this cool down for a few minutes and then I'm going to taste it. Okay, so I cut the pizza into six little pieces, so now let's taste it. It's really good. I love the herbal pesto. And the crust came out crunchy on the outside and chewy on the inside. It is so good. This is something I would definitely buy again. I think there's just enough cheese on this. It's not super cheesy, which is good because I don't like a lot of cheese. And I don't feel like there's too little cheese. There's really just the right amount of cheese on this. And the tomatoes instead of a tomato sauce is really good because sometimes you just don't want like all that red sauce on a pizza, especially if you're not a fan of cooked tomatoes to begin with or pizza sauce. Um, I feel like this is a nice alternative and it's really uh, bright and fresh tasting because of the pesto instead of the tomato sauce. It's really yummy. And that is my review of this Trader Joe's organic pesto pizza with tomatoes and broccoli. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it was helpful for you, please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Visit me at kerryhallwell.com. Also, find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, all forward slash Carrie Hallwell. This has been a Carrie Hallwell production. Thank you for watching.